Hello and welcome back everybody. Now, I've been asked by friends, by family, why did you decide to start a plant nursery? And why are you trying to do it the way you're doing it? Well, it's not that long of a story. I've been gardening throughout my whole life. I've tried selling fruits and vegetables. I, I tried that route. Even though I like doing that, I did not like selling fruits and vegetables to people. That just just wasn't my thing. Um, I, just, I just didn't feel it, you know? I like growing them for myself and eating them, but as far as producing them and selling the fruits and vegetables, I didn't care for that at all. Now, Good Soil Nursery came to be with the delphiniums right here in the back, as well as some other plants in Afghanistan of all places. Um, I remember after one particular hot long day, just sitting down, I'm like, screw this. I'm, I don't wanna be doing this forever. And I started researching. I'm like, you know what? I've been growing flowers all my life. I've tried selling fruits and vegetables. I never cared for it. And for whatever reason in particular, I've never thought about flowers. So I started doing my research. I came to the conclusion I wanted to be, want the nursery to be part of the property, part of the house. Something like you would see in Europe. Think Great Dixter, um, Marchant's Hardy Plants, Home Farm Plants. A lot of places over there I really admired because like I said, they're part of the property. You'll see some greenhouses, but they're not particularly big like here. Take for example, Great Dixter. It almost looks like just a couple hobby greenhouses. Then they have some cold frames and tables. Same thing with Marshawn's Hardy Plants. Here at this nursery, I don't have a greenhouse. I use um, the trees to help keep that heavy rain off. And the plants do just fine. It's more open, the plants seem healthier. I'm not worrying about pests and diseases with the greenhouse. So I'm not saying that I'll never get a greenhouse but it's one of the least, least of my concerns. And everybody it's just gets after me about that. They really do. <laughs> like you should get all these big greenhouses and that. It's like, no, that's not the way I want to go. Now, the, the delphiniums came, came to be, because I've lived, literally, I've grown them all my life. Well, not all my life, a good portion of my life. And I was also looking for a plant because if you're looking to sell plants, Plants have plant patents from whoever either grew them. Typically, it's been colleges these, uh, colleges these days. Um, but if you look at roses, dahlias, they're just inundated with plant patents and trademarks. Where delphiniums, the delphiniums are, you'll see a little bit that are patented, but um, it's mostly just amateur growers now doing um, all the legwork. So it was an easy route for me to get into them. I've been, like I said, I've been doing it for a while and I absolutely love it. Um, I've been able to get these, the seed from over, overseas in England. And then I just planted it and started my own little breeding program. So some of these delphiniums behind me will be available next year. And it's it's been a long road, but I've enjoyed it and Having a nursery that just isn't overly commercialized, you know, that has some character. There is a couple in Connecticut, actually. Um, one of them specializes in woodland plants and the other is Cricket Hill Farm, I believe it's called, that specializes in peonies. But those are the only real two that I know of. And, but that was my foray into it. I just was in Afghanistan, my third tour. I said, screw it. I need to start looking at something different. I'm done with trying to sell fruits and vegetables. I'll eat them myself. <laughs> and then I haven't regretted the day since, since I started growing these flowers. 
So thank you for joining me and have a good day. Bye-bye.